Hello everyone, I hope you're enjoying the three minute thesis so far. You've seen my title slide, so no real reason to drag on overall. So let's just get rolling right into it and ask the big questions. What is a hemolysis? What is a plant bioactive molecule? Well, these things can vary depending on the research and the lab that you're working in. But for us in particular, this is really talking about things that can have activity towards mammalian red blood cells. So when we're looking at this, we can see in the upper left hand corner of the slide what intact red blood cells look like. And then what happens when we expose it to hemolysin or helix. And we see that these cells are lysed, they're ruptured, their cell membranes are disrupted and the contents are released. Now, what this means is that those cells are dead. And so we have something that is cytotoxic towards mammalian red blood cells. That's exciting. So we need to keep investigating that further. We need to take this winding path to purification and see what we really can get and what other activities we might unveil. So to really get towards that, if we're looking at part A there, we see where we're beginning this purification process. We're removing these base plant materials from the initial extraction. And we're then able to subject that sample to dialysis, where we're then removing the salts from the previous step. Now this dialyzed sample is then able to be subjected to gel filtration or size exclusion chromatography where we can then run it and separate it out by size now with this in mind we're then going to take those samples run them on high performance liquid chromatography and that's in block d down there and what we're seeing when we're running that is getting a nice defined singular peaks and we're then able to test those for activity and we're seeing hemolytic activity arriving from those samples as well and when we're going forward we do want to look at at what it's actually appearing as. What does its characteristics look like? And this can be investigated through MALD, which is just a mass spec investigation. So we're getting an idea of what the sample structurally is comprised of. And what we're really seeing in its composition is that it definitely has some sugars because we're seeing variations in peaks that hint towards a hexose or pentose difference. Now, Following that up, what we really need to find out is what other types of activity does this sample really have? And what we see when we're testing it towards other mammalian cell lines, particularly towards cancer cells, is that we're witnessing anti-cancer activity overall. And when you reach 1 to 100th dilution of the sample, you can see up to 40% of these cancer cells dying off. And then even more when you're looking at 1 100th dilutions where you're seeing almost all the cells dying off. So this is very exciting and very encouraging overall. And it's something that we need to continue to investigate as we're seeing this therapeutic value when you're looking at various plant bioactive molecules to compare from like taxol or artemisinin it's really encouraging to keep looking and keep finding these therapeutic values in plant materials so we will continue our purification process and hopefully continue to find very encouraging results thank you